Global Economics and Management. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply to Jacobs University using the Common Application. So let's get started. So if you don't have an account already, the first thing you have to do obviously is create an account and all you have to do is click over here. Okay, so if you're currently in your senior or final year of high school, or if you have completed or graduated from high school and you want to apply to Jacobs University, then you are considered a first year applicant and you can click here to create your account. However, in the case that you want to transfer and that you have been previously enrolled at a university and received a university level credit for two or more semesters, you can apply through the Jacobs University Apply Yourself system and not through the common application. And you can find more information about this on the Jacobs University website. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your account and apply to Jacobs University as a first year student. So in order to create a new account, um, the first thing you're going to have to do is fill this up. Your email address, your password, names, and phone number. And then over here, you're going to have to tick off what applies to you. So let's say if you're uh, planning to start college in the year 2022, 23, or 24, uh, you just click on the option and see what works for you. And then over here, you also tick on the options. You just like review what is written. And then in the end, you just click on the box just to state that you agree with the terms of use and the privacy policy. And once you're done with all of this, you create your account over here. Okay, so once you created your account and everything, you can click over here at sign in. And then you click on first year student. And once you do, you're going to see this box. All you have to do is write down your email and your password and then sign in. Once you log in into the Common App, you're going to see those different tabs. There's Dashboard, My Colleges, Common App, College Search. And I'm going to explain each one of them um, separately in the video so you can get a better understanding on how each one works and why are they there. Um, so first of all, ignore this. <laughs> I've already added Jacobs University to my dashboard, but I'm going to show you how you're going to do it. The first thing you're going to have to do is click on College Search over here. And if you want to find Jacobs University, then all you have to do is search the name. And then you're going to find it in the filter section here. And once you do, there's a plus sign that is in blue next to the name. All you have to do is click on it. And once you do, it's added to your dashboard and it's added to your college list. So in this section, you're going to have to fill up your personal information about you, your family, your education, your um, testing results, activities, and then writing. So I'm going to go through them step by step. So first thing, we have profile. And here in profile, there are several um, things you're going to have to fill out. So first thing is going to be personal information, which is like basically your name, middle name, family name, etc. Um, your pronouns, what do you go by, your gender, date of birth, and so forth. So once you fill out all of these, you click on continue over here. And once you do, it's going to take you to the next part, still in the profile section. And then here you're going to write down your address and so forth. And... Basically, you would know your own contact details, demographics, languages, for, for example, let's say language. So let's say the number of languages you're proficient in. And what you do is click on the number of languages, let's say two. And for me, I could say English, for example. You can say I can speak, read and write. And it's also spoken at home. And let's say, for example, I also speak Arabic. So this is also my first language, so I can say, oh, it's my first language and I can like speak, read, write, and it's also spoken at home. So once you fill out everything, you can click on continue. So over here in the end, you're going to see common app fee waiver. Okay, so on the common app fee waiver section, this is not applicable for Jacobs University and you don't really have to worry about it because Jacobs University does not request or require any application fee. And how would you know that? If you go back to dashboard, 
you're gonna see a list of universities you just click over here to find more information about Jacobs and then here at college information you can look down and you can see over here that Jacobs does not require any application fee whether it was international or domestic and so the where is it yeah so the common fee waiver is not applicable and you really don't have to worry about it or anything so once you finish all of these parts you can move on to the next section which is family and it's the same thing you just fill out all the personal information you have same thing goes for education you know which high school did you attend um, testing what types of tests did you get and results over here are activities like let me show you here activities you can list your top 10 activities that you wish to report and all you have to do is like fill in all of these gaps and if you want to add an additional activity let me show you all you have to do is click over here at add another activity and then you can add your other activity basically and then the last part is the writing section and over here um, this is where you write your personal essay it's very important to write a personal essay uh, even if it's not required but as you can see here Jacobs University requires you to write a personal essay and it's very good because this essay demonstrates your ability to write clearly and it also gives you the opportunity to distinguish yourself in your own voice you know uh, show the university your character and who you are as a person and all you have to do is pick a prompt from over here so you just pick a prompt and then once you do you can go right down and you can see here that you either can copy and paste your essay if you wrote it somewhere else or you can type it in and the minimum word count is 250 and the maximum word count is actually 650 so once you finish everything you can click on continue in this section if you feel like uh, you want to add any additional information that wasn't reflected in any of these sections um, like for example this is new like uh, the COVID-19 and any natural disasters how this had made a long-lasting impact on you or if it's affected you or your environment your education whatever it is you can just write down uh, or share anything about the topic and if you would want to do that all you have to do is click on yes here and write it down and then if there's nothing you just click on no and you move on and yeah over here the last section is courses and grades so it says here that it's it was it isn't required by Jacobs University uh, so I don't you don't have to list any courses or grades in this section but usually if it's required by the university um, it can it would say that it's required and you have to list down the uh, required courses and grades so once you fill out all of these sections and you see green ticks next to it which means that you've completed the section you can go to my colleges so my college section just gives you a list of the universities or colleges you've added to your list. And over here I have Jacobs University. I can just click on it. Once I do, you can see that over here we have all of the information about the university. So contact information. Over here we have the application deadlines, which is very important because you get to decide which deadline you want to meet, basically. And then... Over here, as I said previously, there's no application fees for Jacobs University. And you can see all the requirements that they need. You just read through them and understand all of the requirements. And over here as well, as I said previously, the Common App Personal Essay is a requirement, so you have to finish it up. And once you do finish it in the Common App section, then it's just going to appear, there's a green tick that's going to appear next to it. And then there are college questions. And I'm going to show you where you can find those college questions. You can either click over here or you can go up, click on questions. And you can see the list of questions that you need to answer. So here are general information that is needed. For example, your preferred start term, uh, preferred admission plan. So which deadline you're going to meet for the application. And then if you want to pursue a need-based financial aid, you can do so. You just click on yes. 
um, a scholarship you can click on yes as well and over here the university is just going to ask for academics your activities contract contacts sorry family um, additional high school information and writing so as you can see here there are certain information that you have filled up in the common application that is asked again here so for example like activities if you've already filled it up in the common application you don't have to fill it up again over here and you can see the green tick um, all you have to do is click and then the important part is the writing section and well everything is important but I want to show you the writing section and over here you can see uh, you need to answer to these writing prompts so why did you choose to apply to Jacobs University to Bremen should be a minimum of 100 a maximum of 200 and then you just have to answer all of these questions directly directly related to the university and if you have anything interesting and you want to upload a project that you have a drawing whatever it is you can and it, you can include a short description you can add pictures um, however you like and you just kind of and you can upload the document over here once you do you can just click on continue and we can move on to the next section which is recommenders and the authorization release so before I move on to the recommendation section, I wanted to point out this form that's going to pop up when you first open it. And this is a FERPA release authorization, I believe, which gives you the right to review confidential letters of recommendation provided as part of the application after you enroll. So in that moment, you're going to be asked whether you want to waive your right or whether you don't want to waive your right. So I highly recommend that each person or each student would waive their right because it lets colleges know that you do not intend to read your recommendations, which helps reassure those universities or colleges that the letters are candid and truthful just to be on the safe side. So in the next form section, all you have to do is click on the option or the circle that says I waive my right to review all recommendations and supporting documents. So for Jacobs University, in this section, you really need to know that um, Jacobs requires at least one recommendation from a school official. So this could be a counselor, a teacher, and or an administrator. And please make sure once you do, let's say you invite a counselor, Please make sure the email address is from the school email address, so it's not not a personal email address, so nothing like Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, whatever whatever it is. Make sure it ends with an um, I don't know edu, or it's basically a school official email, and it's your counselors as well. And all you have to do is click on first, write down their first name, last name, and then you can invite this counselor this teacher whoever you want to invite make sure it is an official one a school official recommender so yeah and over here you have the different options as i said previously jacobs only requires at least one recommender or one recommendation so the last part is where you get to review and submit your common application. Of course, if you missed out on a section, it's going to tell you over here. But usually when you're done with any section or part, there's a green tick next to it. So once you're finished, all you have to do is click on review and submit. You get to go over your application, make sure everything is the way you want it to be. Everything is completed. And once everything is done, all you have to do is click submit and the application is sent to the university. So the dashboard section keeps you updated on your application progress. So if you finished everything, it's just going to change into completed. So it's going to write down completed on everything. And over here, this is the deadline of the application, just so you can stay on track and it updates you on everything. So I hope this video helped you out and we wish you all the best with your application process and we hope to see you next fall.